Peace, love, and light, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I am here to do a general reading for the beautiful Scorpio Collective. I will you all our peace. I will all this bliss in your world. Today is hump day. A drear, drear. <laughs> it is quite early in the a.m., which is why I'm speaking with a lower tone I just wanted to uh, make sure I'm not waking anyone up in the household because you know early in the a.m. everything carries voices carry everything sounds louder than it actually is but um I want to do this reading just take a peeky peek see what's coming and going out going on I know that there's been a lot of energy um, that's been coming up in the readings that hasn't been um, very positive, but it's very good to know what's coming in so you know how to how to respond, not even respond, but how to be um, proactive in certain situations, I'll say. So welcome to anyone that may be new. As I said, my name is Q. I too am a Scorpio. I channel messages intuitively. I'm also clairaudient, so you will hear me reference songs in the background that may be playing um, and those songs will blend beautifully with what's coming out intuitively as well as what's coming out with the tarot cards right now we have uh, buddy guy and the name of the song is called I wish it would rain so um, this is the song from the love Jones soundtrack and I wish it would rain. So it's like um, it's like a bluesy type of song. So I do feel like um, this is an energy of somebody who's trying to hide their tears. I feel you know, um, you know, if you're trying to hide your tears, then you hope it would would rain because the tears could kind of camouflage, or the rain could camouflage the tears. Um, this is somebody that was like a friend because uh, I'm getting buddy um, this is more than likely a masculine energy you know masculines uh, typically don't like to show emotion um, they're not as vulnerable as say a feminine energy I shouldn't generalize but typically that's how it goes so maybe there's a masculine energy that's hoping it would rain maybe they're out um, walking and maybe emotions hit them intensely and maybe there's an uncontrollable um, stream of tears coming down their face and they're hoping that it would rain so that the rain could camouflage the tears maybe there's some uncontrollable um, emotions that kind of overtake someone they could be sitting at their desk at, at their job um, and they just feel these emotions and um, you know they're they're overwhelmed I just get a sense of someone's like they're unable to uh, stop the tears that are streaming down their face and in an outside setting one would hope it would rain so that others wouldn't be able to identify um, the tears from the rain um, but I am picking up like a masculine any energy more than anything because of the name buddy guy um, maybe this is someone who's come off like they were your friend um, and they want to be more than just friends they wish to be your lover maybe there's some realization that happens um, and they're um, overwhelmed with the emotions that they're feeling so we will um, delve a little deeper but that's what I'm picking up intuitively from that song um, my readings are also general, so my spiel is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Know that you're more than just your sun sign, so check your moon and your rising, your Venus, your Mercury, your Mars. Just check your other placements for a more clear and concise message for you, okay? Um, my readings are also timeless, so whenever you find yourselves clicking on this video, whenever this video pops up in your feed, that was in fact divine timing intended for you to click play um, so let's do a little house cleaning shall we I 
Thank you, Spirit. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mode it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So, right now Marvin Gaye is playing and this is called I Want You. So maybe those overwhelming feelings are feelings of desire. Those feelings are intensifying. This is someone that wants you, I feel, sensually, sexually, physically. They just, they want you. They want to be with you. So feminine energy, you may have a masculine coming in, professing their desire for you, their thirst for you. And I'm hearing a quench, so perhaps you quench their thirst. This is someone that it could have been a friend. They've never confessed these feelings, getting a sense of a secret admirer or a friend that wishes to be more than just friends. This is someone that wants you. This is the overwhelming feelings that I was picking up could be someone coming into a very strong realization that they desire you. I also feel um, this could be a same-sex scenario where someone is coming to the realization that they are, um, you know, that they are homosexual because that gay is sticking out to me for some reason as well. So this could be, you know, someone who's realizing that they have a more of an emotional connection to that, that person from the same sex than another person. But also I'm picking up there's a masculine who's coming into the realization that they desire someone. And they have not allowed themselves to be vulnerable, I feel. You could be dealing with someone named Marvin. Um, so let's take a, take a peek, peek, see what's coming and going out, going on. Uh, Shay. And this person wants to get you home with them. So this could be someone kind of lusting. This could be a lust situation. Somebody just wants to take you home. Because we got Eugene Wilde, got to get you home with me tonight. So Divine Spirit, 11 Light. I'm going to use my Witch's Wisdom deck first today. We're going to do something a little different. And then we'll use the Numerology deck at some point. So the bottom of the deck for my beautiful Scorpios, we have Cleansing Beloveds. So there's been some sort of a healing process. The water card cleansing is... Um, really about healing it's about purifying this is your element so i do feel like you are very grounded at this time you've taken a lot of time out it seems to really heal yourselves you know maybe the healing that you've done is really net resonating with someone someone's admiring you from a distance you know this is someone who's starting to notice your greatness your beauty um your fearlessness even you know, with this cleansing, I do feel like you've perhaps purged. You may have released some people, places, or things of, as of recently. I do feel like there's also a need for perhaps maybe a spiritual bath. You know, a nice spiritual cleansing, clean, clear cleanse. Your home, wipe your walls down. It's time to start, you know, purifying the energy around you. Getting rid of any dormant energy, getting rid of any, you know, heavy energy, negative energy, because energy is transferable, so if you've had a lot of traffic in and out of your home, or a lot of visitors this past summer, you know, even if you've gone out a lot and come back in, you know, you could bring energy with you, that's why it's important to cleanse, that's why it's important to declutter, it's good to mop frequently, wipe down the walls, wipe down the blinds, it's just, it's an energy that, um, you know, maybe there's a a clean, clearing cleanse that needs to take place. 
but I also feel a very healing element when I look at this card. If you look at this card, you know, it's like a feminine, two feminine energies. That energy over here could be a masculine energy, but there's two energies like in the waters. Maybe you all have recently visited like a lake, river, pond, ocean. Maybe you did a release ceremony to Mama Yemenya, to Mama Ocean. But I do feel when I hear cleansing, I just feel like there's been a very um, rejuvenating energy that has um, that you've been really um, just kind of like finding equilibrium again, balance. I've got to get you home with me tonight. This could be someone's love, wanting to clear the air, wanting to profess their love, express their love, show their love. I'm hearing ex shower you with their love even. We have on the bottom of the deck clearance. So you have cleansing, and I just said clean, clear, cleanse. So now we have cleansing or clearance, pardon me. And this is depicted by a bloom. So this is a very powerful energy. I do feel like... Um, because I was picking up clean, clear, cleanse, and cleanse and clear is here. Water cleans you. Water purifies you. Water is very healing. Water is your element. I feel that th some of you all could be doing some, um, like I'm, I'm hearing, I don't want to say exercising your home, like, there's an exorcism going on, but there's just a very, very focused attempt to get some sort of energy out of your home. Maybe you felt the presence of an energy in your home. Maybe some of the occupants within your home have been going through some sort of unexplained experiences, ailments, maybe even encounters, and so there's a need, I just feel strongly there's a need to, um, to cleanse the home, so you could do, um, an ammonia, you can do like, uh, use ammonia to mop your floors, you could also take some, uh, sea salt, sprinkle it around the corners of each room, if you have black tourmaline, um, specifically raw tourmaline, black tourmaline, you could place them in the corners of each room as well. It's a very um, grounding element. It really grounds the energy in there. It really traps, you know, the negative energy. Some of you all need to, like, wipe your wa your door, your front door, and your door in general down. You can wipe it down with, like, some Florida water, you could sprinkle a little bit of um, sea salt, black salt outside of the front door. You could also take some um, take some sage or Palo Santo and just go over the front of the door as well. And make sure whenever you're using like sage or Palo Santo that you have your doors and your windows open. If you can't open up your front door, um, at least open up your window so that that energy can be swept out. Like if you're cleaning like your closets, there's no windows in your closet. So definitely keep the closet door open so that that energy can be kind of, you know, um, just move, removed out of the home. Turn on any fans if you have it just to kind of help sweep it out of the home. Um, but you definitely need to do some cleansing. I'm just picking up on that. Maybe some of you all need to go purchase like a cinnamon stick and have it right by the entrance of the home. That's really good for, um, you know, like banishing any negative energy that may try to enter, you know, um, that's a good, a good thing to have as well. So let's see what we have coming and going out, going on. My beautiful Scorpios may have a message of love and light. Right now we have, um, 
It says Nas times Wu Tang. So, what's sticking out to me is the X because it's Nas X Wu Tang. It's really, um, this is called Only Built for Queensbridge. So, hmm. What I'm getting is somebody may have burned a bridge with you. And maybe this person will try to come back, return during Mercury Retrograde. And you need to make sure that you are cleansing your home, pur purging the energy. Maybe someone recently, because I'm getting a lot of mis uh, messages here. <sighs> I'm feeling like someone may have burned a bridge and may try to return. This is someone that you need to release and let go of. I feel there's something very heavy with this person's energy. And I feel it will negatively impact you. That's why we have all this energy speaking of clearance, cleansing. Also, if you've recently been gifted with something, I feel like there's some negative attachment to it. You know, maybe you've noticed, like, if, say, for instance, you know how people uh, go to, like, certain sites to buy used furniture or used clothing, whatever. It's like something someone has purchased is it, it, they brought in a negative energy, so it has some sort of attachment to it. And maybe there's been some sort of circumstances that have been unfolding or experiences you've been having that are inexplainable and it's because you have that energy in your home and you may need to get rid of it and once you get rid of it you need to do a full sweep of your home like cleanse your home because whatever you brought into the home whether it was a bulk of furniture whether it was jewelry you purchased from online that's why it's not good to buy a lot of things that are used unless you clean it down before it even enters your home meaning sage it down you know um wipe it down with florida water you know you got to clean things before you just bring it into your home and that's with everything you know but um if you've purchased something that was used i'm getting a sense that you need to you need to you like because i was hearing the word exorcism so you may have gotten something from a home that had a lot of, um, there was just a lot of paranormal activity, let's just say that. And so now whatever you've purchased, you've brought it into your home. And that's why perhaps I'm hearing uh, some of you may not be able to rest at night, like waking up frequently throughout the night. Maybe some of you all have like, uh, picked up in a former reading, having certain, you know, ailments and certain um like physical ailments it could be aches they could be like straight up pain you know straight up sickness that's what i was picking up like you know in a former reading as well like you know perhaps performing like an egg cleanse will be very good because it will you know expel whatever um you know spiritual parasite you may have so let's see what's coming and going out going on and these are not to scare you don't ever get scared you know it's not about fear this is about knowing all right so we have autumn here autumn is your season autumn is your season beloveds so i feel something is going to be exposed we have um only built for queensbridge still playing and as I said, with that X was sticking out to me earlier, I definitely feel like there's a um, possibility of an X returning. Someone that has s burned a bridge with you, and I feel like this is a feminine. You know, um, this is for the feminines because I hear queens. So I just feel like queens, you've, you've worked very hard to rebuild after someone destroyed something you were building with them and they may return during your solar return 
um, months, you know, uh, attempting to heal this connection because we have cleansing right next to autumn. We got protection here. Protection just turned. So autumn just flew out. This is autumn. So I feel like, um, as I was picking up, you know, like someone burned a bridge. I feel like the spirit is telling you to keep watch for something taking place around your solar return. <coughs> I feel someone is coming back to try to heal or make amends. We have protection here. This just flew out. So just as I was picking up, there's a need for you all to protect your home yourselves there's a need for you all to like really do your due diligence you know what I'm talking about to like get yourselves in that circle of protection so whatever you have to do as I said whether going through the home and making sure you know that you are clearing your home of any negative energy any stagnant energy I'm hearing especially if you recently purchased used items like from offer up Facebook, whatever they be doing, um, there's there's a need to like cleanse, there's a need to purge. I would get rid of that furniture, take it down to the Goodwill, burn it if you got a backyard and you could do that. But like it's time to get rid of whatever you just purchased, even if it's clothing, you know, anything carries energy. Energy is transferable. And with this protection card, I just strongly feel like spirit is. Um, definitely saying you're protected but I also feel that you need to create a circle of protection as well for yourselves and we have average white band this is called a love of your own so it's time to like love yourself you know make sure you you do your due diligence you know maybe this is someone who's um, has some obsession over someone that loves you and they may be trying to do something or send something your way because they feel like you're standing in the way of the love they have with another person. I feel your angels and guides protect you. See that? We got magic here. So someone's performing some sort of magic. And spirit is saying it will behoove you. Not only f for you to protect yourself, but they're protecting you as well. But this is what I was picking up. Some sort of energy, like, you know... Maybe some of you all are performing candle magic, protective rituals, because maybe you've b you've picked up on it because you are very sensitive. And we have foundation here. So the foundation is really an energy. It says homeland. So I do feel with this foundation card, because it's like the depiction of a map. I do feel like you all are you all have someone who is wanting to return I get a sense of someone wanting to return this is someone you have been you haven't been in communication with this person for years And I feel this person, as I was picking up earlier, is a secret admirer. Someone that has come to the realization that they have these deep feelings, this love. This could be someone that was like your buddy, your homie. You know what I'm saying? Your friend. Y'all never even made it to the lover status. And this person is realizing like, there was something very special about your connection. You had a very loving, nurturing, you know, very emotionally fulfilling type of love. This person watches you, I feel. I feel that they watch you from afar, from a distance. And they may pick up on the fact that you're very guarded, very protected. Because I feel like they know, there's th like it's like they have this, just that you've been through a lot. And so you may come off very guarded, very protected, very mindful of who you extend yourself to, who you allow around you. 
I feel there could be a sense that this person could be manifesting you. You know, I see a lot of red candles. Red could be used for love rituals. It could also be used for banishing rituals and things of that nature. But I feel strongly perhaps somebody is wanting to return because you feel like home. You know, this is someone that you've established some sort of foundation with. So there is history. That's why I was picking up with that buddy reference. So this could be someone that's like an old friend. Someone that you knew way back when. And now they want to return. Maybe there was a disconnect. Y'all lost contact. Let me see what's coming and going out going on for my divine Scorpios. Beautiful Scorpios. What's coming in for Scorpios? With the love of your own, I definitely feel like somebody wants to... Somebody wants to come back and court you. Somebody wants you to be theirs. And I do feel that this is, you know, someone that you are familiar with, someone that you have history. This person dreams about you a lot, thinks about you a lot. Maybe they're trying to plan, you know, how they will come in, how they will approach you they will reach out and communicate with you how they will express these feelings and this is somebody definitely that has these emotions and it's just like they don't even they don't even know how to express this and we got, it's 5-5-5 five, five, five on the clock, as you can see. And look at the song, Donald Jones, This Love. So this person does have a lot of love for you. 5-5-5 five, five, five reduces to 15, that's 6, so this is a past love. And then we have initiation. So when I see initiation and it says spirit, and I was telling y'all there was some sort of energy. There was some sort of energy. I feel like somebody has released themselves. And look at this containment. See that? Containment. So it's like a cauldron. And it's like bubbling. And this is what witches use when they're cooking up their recipes. They'll use a cauldron. Somebody's definitely doing some magic. I definitely feel like somebody's doing some sort of candle magic, some sort of ritual work, some sort of witchery. Something's going on. Perhaps you all picked up on this, and that's why you're doing spiritual baths, cleansing yourselves, purifying yourselves, trying to expel or banish some sort of energy. Spirit has already said that you are protected, but this is also saying that there is some sort of magic being casted because it fell right next to that magic card fell right next to it and it says candles someone's doing candle magic with you in mind perhaps trying to conjure up something when I always when I see these this always looks like chains but I know those are like knots and that's another way um, for certain magic to be performed is with the knots. It intensifies, you know, the protection as well. There are even not, not candles. They usually have like seven knots, and those are like protective candles. So I do feel strongly that you all are very protected, but I also feel... Spirit is telling you it's very imperative to protect yourself because you can be under um, some sort of attack. Um, I feel it's somebody who could be really, um, I heard the word disgruntled. 
but also someone who is like scorned on the bottom of the deck we get the word the card love from the numerology deck and it was just five 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 fifteen that's six so I was picking up on a past love or someone from your past and then we have Donnell Jones singing this love so someone is very disgruntled about this love connection that they had with you someone's disgruntled about someone having a love connection with you I feel there's someone performing magic to keep you and someone that's meant to be in your life separated because I was picking up like with the red candles you could use those red candles for love spells and you could also use them for separation spells and I feel somebody's trying to reverse something I also feel spirit is telling you trust your intuition set your intentions no one is more powerful than you unless you believe it so let's see what we got on the split and we have spiritual partnerships so you do have a very strong connection that could be why I was picking up on a masculine energy this is a spiritual partnership here let me show you right so I was picking up on a masculine who was hiding their tears being in separation because we had this song um, by Buddy Love I wish it would rain and right now we have um, Tyrese we have um, Tyrese and what is this and this is called shame so someone may have been a little cocky, a little egotistical in the past, and they feel a little shame, a little remorse. Maybe this is someone that chose another option because I was getting the Six of Cups, you know. Also with the Six, it could be the Lovers. So that could be, you know, a very spiritual union that also came out. So this could be why this person is like, you know, coming to this realization that they have love you know that they do love you um, and maybe there's a karmic that has found this out and they could be performing some sort of love rituals spells spirit is telling you to protect yourself you know um, because this person is vengeful this is a very angry energy I'm picking up because you have a lot of energy here someone's trying to contain another person trying to keep them stuck with them Whenever I see containment, I feel like somebody's doing, like, you know, doing those spells to just keep someone stuck, separation, you know, causing confusion, with the magic here, and spirit is saying you're protected, you know, but it's also telling you and reminding you to always protect yourself, like, cleaning your home is a very strong way to keep the energy purified, keep it all harmonious and beautiful, and, um, Especially when you don't know when people are sending things, psychic attacks and things like that, spiritual attacks, manipulating energy. Someone could have very well found out about you, and now they have a vendetta against you. It's very typical for feminines to do that for whatever reason. You know, it's like they'll find out their man is cheating or their man has feelings for someone else, and they automatically get upset at the other woman, you know, and not at their man. So that could be a part of what this you know energy is that I'm picking up but it's like if something doesn't sit right or feel right in your spirit or if spirit tells you to do something in regards to like a form of protection do it you know if somebody recently gave you something if there's something in your home that does just, just doesn't feel right in there you just get an energy from it throw it away get rid of it you do not need a table that bad you do not need nobody else's bed, especially like beds and furniture that you're sitting on that you're going to be 
you know, it's like get rid of it. If it, if it like if you've been feeling a shift in your home since you purchased it or since you brought it in, that's a sign that you need to get rid of it. And that's why I was picking up the word exorcism. And look what we got. Six, love. So there is someone from your past that has deep love. This is someone whose cups, they, their cup of love runneth over. This is someone who feels a little bit of remorse and shame because of the way they may have treated you in the past. Because we have Tyrese. He was singing, you know, shame. So they want to return because the six is about returning. This is a past love returning, you know, perhaps professing, confessing how much they love you, wanting to heal the connection, wanting to heal the relationship. On the bottom of the deck, we have pride. What did I say about someone's pride and ego? Someone very cocky, stubborn even, you know, super stubborn, hard-headed. And that's probably why you know they wanted it to rain because it was like they were overwhelmed with emotions to the point where they couldn't even control it and I feel like this person very well may be thinking about coming back or returning into your life around your solar return we have Mary J Blige singing everything so this person thinks you are everything they think the world of you I feel like they've fallen for you because I see these leaves like falling and blowing in the wind. You know, this is someone that does, you do have history. I feel like there's history, there's roots, and I do strongly feel this person watches you. And out of pride, they have not reached out, they have not communicated. But I feel like, as I said, their feelings, their emotions are intensifying. You know? Something has changed in their in their lives which has humbled them. I feel everything has changed according to Mary J. Blige. So everything has changed in their lives which has had them reflecting on a lot of things in their in in their world, like what they desire, what they want, even about their passions, their dreams. And and you came up. So divine spirit love and light. Why is autumn here? Watchtower. This person definitely watches you. They watch everything you do. Like, this is that secret admirer that's just watching everything. So if you have a strong online presence, even if you don't, it's like they're constantly watching to see if you post something new, if you do something. Like, they're, they're constantly watching daily. You know, if it's not daily, it's at least a couple times a week. And we have manifestation. So this person is strongly trying to manifest you. And perhaps this is the spells that's being done. Is like they could be performing like come to me love spells or whatever type of love spells. But this is, you know, the manifestation of your desires. Maybe you've just manifested this. This is like someone who thinks of you as a wish fulfillment. I also heard the one that got away. They feel like strongly you're the one that got away. I just recently watched on Amazon a show called The One That Got Away where there's these um, these contestants, not even contestants, but there's these individuals who have an opportunity to fall in love with people from their past. And so there's a portal that brings people from their past and they don't know who's coming. They don't know what time or phase in their lives that they knew this person. And so... A lot of them were, you know, reacquainted with people that they always had some sort of strong synergy chemistry with. And um, there was a couple of love connections made. So it was like, this person feels that you are the one that got away. And they think the world of you. Like, they want to give you the world. When I hear everything, it's just like, they think everything. You know, they, they think about everything that happened, at, that has happened in the past. You know, maybe a part of this was about karma. Maybe a part of this is, you know, as I said, they're starting to look. Um, they had to start reflecting on their be their own behavior, which is why that ego death card came out or showed up. And next we have physical activity. So I do feel 
that you need to be proactive. You know, when I see physical activity, that activity part is really resonating and standing out. Um, 67 reduces to 13. 13 is a death. So this is, you know, death, rebirth, transformation. So somebody is definitely, um, and I feel this could be, you know, that masculine trying to come in, but they're picking up on your very guarded energy, even if this isn't a masculine or it could be a feminine coming in. They're picking up on that guarded energy. And I just saw 4040, which is 8. And so 8 is, again, you know, some sort of wish fulfillment. It could even be someone's karma. I feel like spirit is telling you to be proactive in protecting yourself. Somebody's going to get karma if they are, um, you know, trying to do any type of voodoo, hoodoo, juju, santeria, black magic, white magic, ritual, or spell work on you. Like, they're going to receive instant karma, you know, because 13 is like, that is the death card. But that represents a major ending, very transformative circumstance. And it was just 40 40 on the on the um, clock when I was speaking on these cards so that reduces to eight eight deals with strength I feel like you're very strong spiritually like you you are attuned with the earth you are aligned with your higher self with sp your spiritual self and so it's like you're proactive so there's a heightened sensitivity is you know strong sense of intuition I feel like spirit is telling you to use that with physical activity that's about like you using those keen abilities to you know if something doesn't feel right like I said be proactive don't wait for something to happen and then be trying to react to the circumstance be proactive that's why I was picking up like cleanse your home clear your home of anything if someone gifted you something you know what I'm talking about? Like, you can't just accept things from people. This is when when, when this is new earth time. Like, we got to think differently. Somebody gifts you with something and you don't really rock with them like that. Or their energy seems off sometimes. Or there's something questionable that, about that person. Get rid of that jewelry. Throw it away. Get rid of it. Get it out of your home. Period. We have in the bottom of the deck spiritual partnership. And we're about to clarify this magic. Somebody's doing love spells. Somebody's doing performing some sort of candle magic. Manifesting love. Maybe this is y'all. I feel like you're manifesting your soulmate, your cosmic companion, your twin flame. Divine masculine, divine feminine. Why is magic here? candles have a message of love and life for my Scorpios and we have teaching and learning and this is the number 57 which is 12 that's three so back to back you got f four and three which is Emperor Empress someone's trying to manifest you back into their life someone's learning how to manifest you back because we already had manifestation someone is manifesting you and I feel it's divine masculines if it's not the divine masculine it is that other person it is your divine counterpart cosmic companion that's manifesting you back and they're being very proactive and maybe you are so protected that whatever they're doing it may not be working <laughs> because you're within this circle of protection here. So whatever candle magics they're doing, they, you know, maybe they're not seeing any results. And they're like, dang, like your defenses are up. You're very, you got a lot of a protective energy around you. But this person is very attracted to you. They find you to be very beautiful, very alluring. You know, you put this person on pause. I feel like there was a break in this connection because we have Curtis Blow the breaks 
and I'm hearing someone blew the other person off, trying to blow me off, like, they was j just like, and that's that cocky energy, that ego, somebody had to be humbled. I feel like with teaching and learning, this is about also, you know, like karma, you know, learning from your mistakes. This person also learned from you because you you definitely taught them a very valuable lesson. And maybe you walked away and never looked back because now they're wanting to return, you know, and they're feeling the shame. Because we had Tyree singing that. So it's like they've, they're learning from you. Like I said, th this person has been watching you, you know. Someone can only learn if they're watching, if they're paying attention, you know, if they're studying. So let's see what we got coming and going out, going on for my divine Scorpios, my beautiful Scorpios. Why is imagination here for my Scorpios? We have a message of love and light. Why is imagination here? Thank you, spirit. And we have self-discipline. And this is the number 41. So this is about growth. You know, fives represent change, but it also reps represents conflict. So there could have been some mental conflict. And you had to learn to control your own mind and not allow things external to you to take so much effect. We got Melissa Morgan singing Do Me Baby. So... You, you really couldn't allow anyone to, like, dupe you or gaslight or mine up. You know, the 41 is connected to the um, Hierophant because that's five. And so that five deals with the throat chakra. So maybe someone is trying to figure out what they want to say. This is someone who has been mastering themselves because we have self-discipline. So they've been learning, you know, all about self-love, about self-care, but also respect, integrity, dignity, you know. I feel strongly if this is your energy that you've really been trusting of your intuition. You've also been um, very protective of your, of um, what you allow people to say to you. So it's like, you're not allowing anyone to dupe you. You're not allowing anyone to gaslight, to mine up. Because now you have a sense of self-respect. You're not just believing words that come out of people's mouths. You're checking for the actions. You're checking for the red flags. You're just doing your due diligence. And you're trusting your intuition, more importantly. You know, that's what Spirit is telling you. With this initiation card, Spirit... I do feel like spirit has initiated you to become, you know, healer, shamans, spiritual advisors, practitioners. You have a gift. Some of you could be dealing with someone named Melissa, someone named Morgan. I feel spirit is telling you, like, when it comes to your heart, follow, follow what you feel. You know, that four, that two, two, really, you know, that's double numbers. And you know how I feel about double numbers. Whenever I see them, I feel like that's someone mirroring your energy. The twos are associated with the high priestess. So I feel like you all are attracting someone that's mirroring you, that's intuitive. They know you're intuitive. And you could pick up on energy, spirit. I was also picking up that you all could be um, picking up on some sort of energy in your home so go with your gut instinct go with that inner compass because if something doesn't feel right that means it isn't right and with this containment card on the bottom of the deck you know that could be something trying to entrap you you know so be mindful of that and like I said if you've been gifted something from someone that you know isn't really a friend or doesn't really even associate with you like that that's not a gift you need to get rid of whatever it is they gave you i don't care if it's a shirt i don't care if it's a ring a necklace and freaking pair of shoes i don't care what it is a piece of furniture get rid of it get it out of your home because i was picking up on that with 
with um, the cleansing and the clearance card, those two cards coming out. All right, so we got, see this? We got that 10, karmic completion. So someone, as I said, that you've walked away from wants to return. I was picking up on somebody being very, um, and they're in your environment. So this is telling me this is somebody you're familiar with. And this is a uh, part of 44. That 44. I feel you have a. I feel you have a new love coming in that's being initiated because you all have just completed a karmic cycle. This could be somebody new that's going to like this person has grown, but this is also somebody that you're familiar with because this is the same eight that was being manifested. So this eight here, and then you got the four four. So a lot of both of you I feel have been working on yourselves. You know, there's a completion of a cycle. And I feel like divine timing is of the essence. We have domestic harmony here. Someone is wrapping up that cycle, that karmic cycle that you've ra since wrapped up. And we have a uh, common featuring John Legend and Bilal, and this is called Faithful. So someone definitely wants to return being faithful to you. And I feel whoever the karmic is, I was picking up on a very disgruntled, scorned, angry, bitter, you know, karmic that was upset because they're being left behind. I feel this person wasn't faithful and that's why, that's what caused the, the, the breakup. It's almost like this was... It freed someone. That was, the, it was like they had an, a reason now to leave because they wanted to be faithful. This is a very faithful, loyal person. Maybe that's why, you know, divine timing. I was picking up in a former reading like the timing was off because this person was still attached. And with these strings and knots and this is saying initiation and spirit. I just feel like this person was chosen for you but they had a karmic cycle they had to wrap up and when they wrap it up that means things with you can grow and blossom this is someone that sees you as a wish fulfillment and this is someone that will be faithful somebody that will be loyal this person will definitely be loyal I don't feel like they're coming in to play games this time around. Because I feel like they've had some sort of major epiphany. You know? They have a, a evolved perspective, if you will. On the bottom of the deck, as I said, major epiphany, evolved perspective. We got the sun here. This is all about clarity, illumination, truth. This is even about happiness and joy, peace. The sun is just as healing. Sun is masculine energy. There's an awareness. You know. There's a strong awareness. Someone is very much aware. See that? Look at the anxiety. So someone does receive. You know. Some sort of clarity. After being stuck in this space. Very anxious. Very shameful. Very remorseful for their actions. Just mentally conflicted, but then there's that epiphany, that aha moment, you know? And we have Steel Pulse. This is called your house. So this person is really wanting to return. I feel like, <clears throat> I feel this person visited you before. This is someone that wants to visit you at your house because we have steel pulse. I feel like this person also feels you're very wise, very informed. You bring happiness. You bring joy. You bring light. Because when I think of steel, I'm, I'm hearing the term steel sharp and steel. So it's like they feel like you're a like mind. And th they may like the setup in your home. They may like the feel of your home, the vibe of your home, the energy in your home, your sanctuary. I feel they're also very 
you know, um, anxious about, you know, taking that initial step to visit. This is that past love, as we're about to clarify, water cleansing and love. And I just saw the devil peeking out. This person that is coming towards y'all, Scorpios, they have a very um, strong attachment to a karmic that is vindictive. You know, this is a person that has done spells on them. They may not realize it. And because you're protected, um, you know, that could be the reason why this connection has not taken off because this person that they were dealing with has done some they've done some sort of spell work to try to block them from you know new love so it's like that's why this person gets all anxious they all up in their head they talk themselves out of it because whoever they was dealing with this karmic has been like trying to keep them contained and stuck with them this is like an attachment this is like ugh, you know somebody don't want you to just keep it pushing beloved there's other loves out there like you doing the most and getting nothing that you want it's like that's just ridiculous let's see what we got coming and going out going on for my beautiful scorpios coming and going out going on for my beautiful Scorpios thank you spirit go ahead and cut this deck what we got coming and going out going on so your house somebody wants to visit your house you also need to do a cleanse in your home need to check the pulse in your house because the name of this group is called steel pulse check the pulse if you're the type of person who purchases plants and your plants are always dying or like you can't keep the plants alive in your house for the life of you and you know it's not the temperature you know you're not overfeeding them the plants are the first line of defense on spiritual attacks plants are alive and so if your plants can't live then that means there's something in there killing it is an energy so be mindful of that and so we have daughter personal healing and happiness this is what you're entering into a new phase new stage in your life i feel this person is coming in to bring you love to bring you peace i feel like there's you know someone returning and this is a very you know loving person someone that definitely you know, as I said, their cup runneth over for you, beloved. Didn't I say this person had an attachment? Something very dark. Trying to hold them, trying to contain them. See this? This person looks very contained. And that's what happens when you deal with people. And this person is like looking at themselves, though. They're reflecting. This is the same five. Remember, we had that five that showed up, self-discipline. So maybe this is that person again. But whoever your person is, it's like they are attached to that karmic. And they do wiggle themselves free. Because remember, the karmic completion showed up. But the same energy that is looking to you as that wish fulfillment trying to manifest you back into their life. They can't manifest you until they release that past person because you're protected you're actively protected like you're guarded you're protected your guardians your angels your ancestors they don't play about you so because they could feel your angels could see rather that your person still has some sort of negative attachments that comes with all this baggage it's like they're blocking it out they're not allowing it to happen everything has to happen in divine timing and in divine order when they have, you know, released themselves of whatever the baggage is, the toxicity in their life. So why is this watchtower, who is this watching our beloved Scorpios, trying to manifest them back? They have a message of love and light. 
Who is this watching Scorpio? Trying to manifest them back. Look at that. Door to value. So you're manifesting something that's very valuable. Someone finds you to be very valuable, very abundant, very, you know, expansive, successful, opulent. Something around your solar return also is coming in. I feel like you all will receive some sort of promotions, pay increase, bonuses. Maybe you'll receive some sort of gifts around your solar return. Whatever it is, I feel like it's definitely some sort of wish fulfillment. It's something that you've manifested, obviously. Yep, you've manifested it because the magician in the mirror is here. So this is something you've set intention on. You could have done this during the 8-8 portal. And we have a uh, cannabis feature in Cambada. Maybe some of you all Yeah, I just I fought, I strongly feel something you've been manifesting is coming in for you. And this is bringing stability, security. This is like like bringing a sense of independence back, you know, financially for you. Why is this protection and physical activity here for my beloved Scorpios? Thank you, Spirit. Archangel Shamuel third chakra always go with your gut instinct your inner compass this is also the sun that shines within if something doesn't feel right you'll know and spirit has told you to be proactive see this someone's trying to affect your finances we got financial constraints teaching and learning and then we got m magic Someone's trying to bring some sort of doom and gloom into another person's life, but they're going to be, it's going to be a boomerang effect. Why is candles? Maybe some of you all are doing money magic, manifestation rituals to improve your money. Yeah, you're protected. You are protected, beloved. Archangel Mikael is here. So no weapons formed against you shall prosper. Archangel Mikael is here. You are invisible to your enemies and your hidden enemies are revealed to you. Archangel Mikael is right on it. So whatever these people are doing, you're protected. You also have this journey card that flew out with Archangel Mikael. So you're on a path, a spiritual journey, a path. You also have the secret admirer that's been watching you just as I said. And what they've been learning, they've been imagining, visualizing, dreaming, thinking of you. This is somebody that may smoke a lot of cannabis, a lot of pot, a lot of ganja, a lot of herb, a lot of gas. This is that person that dreams about you a lot. Maybe they needed to, you know, they needed to definitely, um, I hear, learn boundaries. Somebody loves you, though. This is the person that loves you. This is the person that's been thinking about you the entire time y'all been in separation it could be a moon sign because a bunch of cards just flipped over and the moon is one of the cards this could be um i said a moon sign or somebody that may um be a cancer because remember the cleansing card that's water so you could be dealing with another water sign cancer so why is imagination or you could be dealing with an air sign we have healer of the ages. So this person is healing. They're healing. And I feel like they are learning to be more assertive. You know. This is somebody that does not really express themselves. Communicate their feelings. You know. So they're learning. I feel like spirit is taking the time out to teach them. And this is that person from the past. Because we have the sixth love. And then we got this. Fifty-one. 
a healer. So it's like they're healing. And it's obvious why they're healing because they're dealing with a karmic. A karmic that is trying to keep them contained, doing spells, doing magic on them. And this is obviously this divine masculine, this masculine energy of this person, even if it's a feminine that wants to come towards you. So why is um, spirit initiation, karmic completion, and 44 environment here? Didn't I say there was a devil? See that? Cards don't lie, beloved. They're dealing with a karmic that is trying to keep them contained and stuck with them. This is what they're trying to do. See this? They're trying to keep them stuck. We already had the containment card. And that's what witches do when they're trying to, you know, cook up some recipes or whatever. But this is what they're dealing with. They're dealing with a devil. This is someone very manipulative, very hateful. This is a very dark energy. This is someone very bitter because this also flew out. Broken heart. I was definitely picking up on somebody disgruntled, angry, you know, bitter scorned vengeful and look this is somebody that has a very sick attachment this person is going to be very deceptive they're broken hearted because this person has learned someone wasn't faithful and we have her playing comfortable so this person is trying to strategize how to make someone discomfort you know uncomfortable you know, they're uncomfortable with the fact that it's over. So they have discomfort. And they're broken hearted because their trickery, it blew up in their face. Like I said, karma dharma. Let me get one more card. See that? This is what's coming in, blossoming abundance. So this same energy, you got the 31... So this is like spirit is going to like stunt on this devil. This devil is trying to keep someone all tied up, contained, stuck and stagnant, have somebody up in their head. If y'all have been feeling confused as of late, if you're not getting enough rest at night, find yourselves waking up during those witching hours, if you feel a presence in your home, it could be because this crazy devil is trying to manipulate your energy. But remember, Archangel Mikael showed up. So whatever this person is doing, it's going to be returned to sender. Because they don't know that you're a part of the initiate. You're like a chosen one. The initiation here, spirit, you are chosen. So you are protected, in other words. This person is going to have a lot of regrets because whatever they're throwing at you they're going to have to get it back tenfold that's just the laws of karma that's universal laws of karma and look what it says on the bottom of the deck of my deck that i'm about to use spiritually guided divinely protected so this is what archangel Mikael does he takes the sword and cuts you free from the yokes the hexes the spells all of the curses anything anyone has done the witchery cuts you free and he protects you so you have a fiery impenetrable wall of protection that's why the protection card showed up so no matter what this person may be doing because they may have found out about this per your you know your your actual divine counterpart their karmic they may have found out about how this person feels about you and so now they are taking their vindictiveness and vendetta again out on you but they're also performing magic on that person trying to keep them contained keep them all stuck keep them all gaslit but that person remember they saw the the um the chain binding them and they took the mask off their face with that attachment card so it's like they realize they've been stuck to something unhealthy you know and that's why that karmic completion showed up because now there's an opportunity to end this vicious cycle that's why the cleansing card showed up that's why the clearing card showed up because they need to release that energy purge that energy the number seven came out seven is associated with the chariot somebody's rushing in quickly 
somebody is coming in with passion, fire, desire, confidence, assertiveness, being attentive. This is also trusting one's intuition. The seven is associated with the crown. So you could be getting a lot of divine downloads. Somebody could have been born in the seventh month on the seventh day. Seven could be some of you all's favorite number. Could be a life path number. Didn't I say? What does their energy speak? To? What does their energy speak to your spirit? And this is clarifying Watchtower Eight Manifestation and Thirty One. Someone has had some sort of epiphany that you all are connected. This person realizes, like, dang, your energy was like. It was like healing. It was nurturing. It was loving. And we got Bobby Brown singing Roni. So you're their little tender Roni. Even if you mask him, like somebody look at you like you're their tender Roni. Like your energy is just very infectious. It's very, it's just warm. You feel like home. That's why we had that foundation card in the beginning. Because they feel like you you know, the connection with you is solid. They want to rebuild. They want to build a connection. They want to connect on a deeper level. So why is this magic circle protection, 67 physical activity, and the um, third chakra, Archangel Shamuel? So you have um, two angels that are guarding you, two very specific angels. So I don't know if you have like, um, you know, two masculines. A father, a grandfather, maybe a brother, an uncle, maybe even if it's a close friend, they watch over you and they tell you trust your intuition, you know, that's a part of your protective, um, that's a part of your protection as well as to, you know, be very obedient to your instincts and it says I want to sex you up. So this is somebody that could be like incubus, succubus, this is somebody definitely you could be having like some sort of um, incubus energy trying to come in. The spirit is telling you, trust your, trust that, you know, that, that sun that shines within, you know, that's like that, that gumption, that's your inner gumption, uh, inner compass, excuse me. You're protected from that. Yeah, see that power up, sunlight, clarity, illumination. So you can see right through those type of intentions you know like I said 13 is associated with death so you know th th that's scorpionic energy so that's like um, physical and, and, and material you know things like that so if somebody is not authentic or honest I feel like somebody was dealing with like sexual demons as well like and that could have been what you were protected from as well somebody had some sort of spiritually transmitted disease and you was just very shot, you know, very aware. Because the sunlight, remember I told you, that solar plexus, that's the sun that shines within. So you got the clarity you needed. And like I always say, when you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. So you was already proactive to protect yourself, to guard yourself from someone who was just, you know, a sexual deviant. Or somebody who has sexual addictions. So why is this candles, magic? Um, teaching and learning Archangel Mikael and this two journey here and it says I don't have any standards and will put my thing in anything a dog stray cat see that so somebody's coming back and it turns out they're not coming back with the right reasons they're coming back because they have some sort of sexual or maybe this is what um, this person is dealing with that you're attracting Spirit is protecting you, and because someone is trying to come to you, it's like what they're dealing with is coming out as well, because I definitely feel like with this journey, like you're on a whole new spiritual journey and path. You don't have no time for this type of energy. You moved away from that. I feel whoever you're attracting to you, they're also becoming aware as to what they require, what their love language is. They're learning to, they're learning from you. So they are going through the process of healing themselves, loving themselves, and now knowing themselves. They feel that you're their tenderoni. In the past, someone could have been 
you know, very flighty, very much that player, you know, but they've learned from you to respect themselves. They've also realized they could have been under some sort of love spells by dealing with some sort of karmic that was doing this. So they could have learned something, but I feel Archangel Mikael has been protecting not only you, but also this union, because perhaps maybe it is a spiritual union, as we saw in the beginning. So why is this imagination, self-discipline, and healer of the ages here? I feel y'all could be, you know, healers as well. It says enough of no love. I know my worth now by it. See that? This person heals. They know their worth. They're not going to stay in a connection with somebody just because of the sex. Just because the sex is good. Because what they're realizing is as they're growing, they require more than just sex. Because remember, got to get you home with me tonight was playing. So maybe they was wild at one point in time. They was for everybody. You know, see this mind sex manipulation confusion that's what this will have you all stuck up in your head with those anx anxious thoughts and this is because somebody is very meticulous and calculating and trying to hurt others because they're hurt and so this is what they're doing mind sex is like mind uckery and we have dave east prosper so this person doesn't want to see someone prosper they don't want to see them grow they don't want to see them receive this blossoming abundance. So they're trying to dupe someone, they're trying to manipulate, gaslight. Why is this spirit initiation, karmic completion, environment, the devil, broken heart, and blossoming abundance here for my beloved Scorpios? I have a message of love and light. Look at that. Spiritually guided, divinely protected, came right back out. And remember, this was the very first card we saw in the beginning of the reading. So you are protected. And laughter is food for the soul. So remember to laugh. Remember to, you know, have fun. Make light of things. I feel like I need to get one. What? No. Spiritually guided, divinely protected. That's all you need. This is a spiritually guided and divinely protected union. We already know that because we have Archangel Mikael. So call upon Archangel Mikael. Definitely tap in with Archangel Mikael. Because he is protecting your energy there's a bonus message see how all the cards are facing back so I'm gonna take this one Ooh, wait until you see what it is this is what the message is y'all need to be careful because you got somebody definitely stalking you and remember this is the message your spirit you got it divinely protected so no matter how evil these eyes are that are watching and lurking and we got ancestors approved. They are pleased because you've completed karmic cycles. Even if this is your person who has these evil eyes watching, you're protected, beloveds. The only way this person can win is if you relinquish your, you know, submit your will to them and, and feel they have some power um, that's stronger than yours. But this person is definitely lurking, watching. So someone is familiar with you. Someone is aware you exist. Someone is aware someone has feelings and there's, their intentions are to come toward you. And quickly, they've had an epiphany. And they're walking away from someone because they realize there's no more love. There's no love there. It was all sex. It was dealing with somebody who didn't have standards. Maybe this could have been them in the past. They received a little bit of karma. They got sat down for a minute. And they had no choice but to reflect on their past actions. That's why that ego death showed up. And this could be masculine or feminine energy. But there's some evil eyes lurking. So may every evil eye that's watching go blind. And so it is, so mo' to be, and so it is, so mo' to be. And so it is, so mo' to be. Ah, shay. So this is your reading, beloved Scorpios. I hope that the message has resonated. It looks like you still have financial blessings coming in, regardless of what somebody may be doing. Definitely. Keep your head on a swivel. If something doesn't feel right, sit right in your spirit. Be off it immediately. If you recently purchased anything and um, your house hasn't been the same since, um, you might want to get rid of it. You know, check the pulse of your home. Make sure you make um, cleaning your home regularly. And I'm not talking about just straightening up, washing dishes and stuff like that. I'm talking about like wiping things down. Get some Florida water. Um, and um, you could put a little bit of sea salt, like I said earlier. Just follow those steps. Mop your floors with ammonia. 
um, there's so many different ways in which you could cleanse but definitely do a deep cleanse and make sure to um, sage and, and, and Palo Santo each room keep the doors the windows open uh, if you can keep the door open that's fine if you can't it's okay open up the windows in every room so that the negative energy can be um, swept out of there uh, and do this several times you may also want to take a spiritual bath I would take three spiritual baths um, or you could take up to seven um, you know for seven days you could take a spiritual bath for seven days because I heard the word exorcism in the beginning I didn't want to say that word because it's very you know it's a heavy word um, but I just was I don't know why I'm picking up on someone you know getting used something used you know and um, it just has a lot of energy attached to it so be mindful of that Ashe. but this is your reading beloveds um, I hope the message has resonated if you found that it did please be kind hit the like share subscribe definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload if you are new I hope you stay well and if you are returning you already know what it is beloveds love is love is love until next time I send a big fat ashe. Peace.